Alright guys, welcome to another adventure. I'm here in the beautiful River Y. I'm trying to cover just over 52 miles in this trip. That's about uh, over 80 kilometers. Come along for the ride with me guys. It's gonna be a good one. Two nights, three days, no tent, just a tarp and pure adventure baby. Woohoo! I was fortunate enough to stay at my good buddy's house, Josh, who I met last year, almost exactly a year ago when I capsized here on the river. Oh, that was stupid. Happened so fast. Just went into a tree, got stuck there and uh, just flipped. I lost my phone, I lost my tripod. Shit, that's so dumb. So I'm back in the same section now as I'm talking to you. Go. Long way to go still. All right guys, so just made it to Heian Wai and we paddled just around an hour and a half though. So that's pretty good going actually. Much better than I anticipated. Very encouraging indeed. Look at that little house. It's gorgeous with solar panels and everything. I don't know if you can see it, but check that out guys. Collecting a little bit of wood, stuff is all debris pretty dry. When it's time to camp or use wood, it's ready. Oh yes, the sun. Really falling into the rhythm now of the river and the calmness of nature here and slowing down the pace, slowing down the thoughts. Massive fallen tree behind me. When the flow is fast, something like that could definitely capsize you. 
you hit one of the branches side on and you're in the water pretty much so that bridge over there that's Whitney Bridge pretty good progress that takes us over the 10 mile mark it's 947 so that's two hours 45 minutes paddling so pretty pleased with that progress This little place looks quite inviting to stop so gonna have a little breakfast do a coffee warm up get some energy in and continue on lovely little spot to stop river flowing here and just eddy out there and beautiful and the sun is shining there gorgeous I think I decided in this trip I'm gonna be boiling all my water. I do have a filter, but um, I think there's plenty of uh, firewood and opportunities to boil water, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. All right, time to make some progress. What time is it, guys? 11.36 Quite a long stop there but uh, much needed I think we're fully fueled now to make it all the way to Bicross I think is where I want to stop today, tonight So about 11 miles If we don't get a headwind that would be nice That headwind will completely mess us up so. That's a lot of pee. Thank you for that. I get my drinking water from there, mate. Just an example how you have to uh, always be vigilant and not uh, underestimate the river. This is just a class one and the river levels aren't particularly high at all. They're on the lower side, but uh, there's always new hazards developing in the river, new trees falling and so stay alert.
wind's been mostly in our favor the whole trip, but uh, this bit is a uh, stiff headwind. No tent on this trip, just a tarp, so nice and open. About quarter to two, gonna stop here, check the map, maybe boil some water for coffee, and then we'll be on our way. Let's do it. It is 2.40, so that's good timing. We should probably get into camp around 4, 4, 4.30. Let's get to Bicross and find a good spot and enjoy a well-earned camp. Let's do it. Man, is it a morale booster when the sun comes out Oof, immediately. Seen quite a lot of uh, wildlife today, beautiful. Quite a lot of herons, um, three kingfishers, and a brown trout jumping. Uh, that was weird. All right, not quite there yet guys, but I did find a spot that is very attractive. I've come about 21 miles, which is uh, just short of 34 kilometers up to this point. I wanted to do a little bit more and <clears throat> I definitely have the energy to, to keep going, but I'm having a hard time passing on this uh, campsite, guys. I mean, look at this. It doesn't really get better than this, does it? <laughs> you know, I think I just gotta take it and paddle more tomorrow I guess but um conditions are good to paddle today too you know so I want to make progress it's hard decisions decisions I am a bit more exposed to the wind that's coming from the west decision made guys we are taking this this is too good to pass sun's dropping and it's gonna start getting dark and this is amazing I'm taking it let's go I'm gonna set up the tarp maybe use the canoe as a windbreak have the fire here we're gonna do this, guys. Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> oh, 
okay. Enough messing around. We gotta set this up, man. Come on. What are you doing? This log is going to give me something to attach the back end of the tarp to. going so well oh dear don't panic I guess this will do for now it gives me no confidence whatsoever that the wind has completely died and now my shelter is standing hopefully the shelter doesn't follow me when the wind picks up later on so we'll find out not bad at all so my sleeping pad i'm using my amok fuel winter light might as well have a bit of luxury and uh, a wider pad to sleep on you know this is the nemo pillow that i was talking about the actual stuff sack is part of the pillow itself this stuff sack goes inside it's like a hybrid it has one and a half inches of foam and then the rest you inflate so it gives you the support but then it's comfy like a typical pillow because it has that extra cushion layer so i'm gonna try it Nice and comfy. Oh yeah, take these off. Slip into these bad boys, I love them. Crocs are so underrated, man. I am very hungry, so we're gonna have a bit of everything. We're gonna have some asparagus, broccoli, and cherry tomatoes, whole wheat pasta with some vegan uh, basil pesto, and a Beyond Meat sausage as well. <laughs> Leave the tomatoes whole actually. kind of picked up the taste of the sausage as well so it's like really thick and tasty nice asparagus oh the asparagus is beautiful try the sausage 
Yum. Oh, so nice. Nice broccoli. Yummy. Pasta, sausage, veggies, all good stuff. Well, that's it from me, guys. Nicely tucked into bed now. Feels so good to rest the bag after a long day. It's been a long day, but it's been a fantastic day. Very grateful for it. Hopefully my shelter will uh, withstand the wind. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more adventure. Good night, guys. Well, good morning guys it's 6 30 a.m i slept pretty badly yesterday actually the wind and the tarp kept flapping around like crazy and uh yeah not sure this tarp configuration was the best setup but grateful that it held not gonna have any breakfast i want to make some progress so i'm gonna pack up camp really quickly take the rest of the firewood for tonight and um, make some progress let's go This is beautiful. Thanks to my wife for buying these, they're amazing. As if I didn't have enough peanut butter, peanut butter puffs. I need to put them down and make some paddling. The plan is to make it to Horwithy by tomorrow morning early. And that's about 30 miles from here. And I think we have Mornington Falls now coming. I can hear them. Be careful here. So a lot of shadow and edges and stuff. As well. a little eddy here I might stop to inspect that so looks a bit dodgy feels going into a bit of a tree I'm gonna break up here just on this eddy I chose this side because uh, the flow was better but it was narrower maybe that was the wrong decision so see how I can uh, land here either yeah that's all right here I definitely want to have a look at what's around the corner there I don't want to just run that I'm gonna try and scramble up this uh, bank and walk around make sure it's all clear before I run it Dodgy, 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 dodgy landing, mate. <clears throat> Tell you that. Hide my canoe over there. It's just in the eddy here. I'm gonna try and walk this and see. Make sure it's safe before I run it. Uh, it flows fast here, so definitely gotta be careful, man. Over there, you see that? That fallen tree, that could be a problem. Definitely gonna stay clear of that. 
beyond that should be okay. I'm still gonna walk all the way through, see what's going on. So as I'm coming here, I'm, I gotta make sure I stay on the river right and avoid that strainer. Yeah, the final bit looks good, guys. Action time, let's go. Get your heart going, man, let me tell you. That's what it's all about, guys. If you're not a little bit scared, then I'm gonna make sure you Guys, go. Nice. Nice. Yes, sir. That was more straightforward than I anticipated, but you know, I want to get into the right mindset of doing things right. As I take on bigger expeditions, you practice your errors, you will continue doing them. You practice your solutions and hopefully those will prevail when things are unclear. Look for that eddy by time and avoid catastrophe. Yes, awesome. It's nice to get into some faster flowing water after a long uh, flat section slog. Really beautiful. Try and maximize my speed, minimize my effort. <laughs> That's the name of the game, isn't it? I found my Wilson. I needed a buddy on this trip, so Wilson, welcome aboard. Some flat sections. Progress is slowing down a little bit. Judging by the time now and the speed that we're traveling at, we're very likely going to set up in the dark today, so I'd rather push push now and take the luxury of a break maybe later yeah I've already seen about six kingfishers they're so beautiful you see the flash of uh, blue electric blue they skim the surface of the water they're beautiful See if you can hear the woodpecker. Beautiful. Really been enjoying the last half an hour of this. Almost like non-stop uh, small rapids, good flow. Man, what a difference it makes to morale when you're paddling on this. Keep them coming, baby. Keep them coming. Yes, that's a sign that we're getting closer to Hereford. Start to see some houses. All right, guys, we found a better home for uh, Wilson, a kid over here, so I'm going to give it to him. Ready? Yeah. Yay! That felt great. That put a smile on the kid's face and uh, that puts a smile on me. Echo! Echo! Not really. I just looked like an idiot.
Alright guys, it's just about 12 p.m. Been paddling since about 7.30 a.m. this morning. I feel energized, I can keep going. I do want to stop to make a coffee or something, but I don't really want to stop near Hereford, so I want to carry on, get away from that. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, a kingfisher just flew past us. Flash of blue, it's flying, it just settled there, down river. It was right there, it was like right here. That's like eight or nine uh, kingfisher so far in this trip, amazing. What's he got in his mouth? That fish. Is that a lure? Oh, I think he's got a lure stuck in his mouth. See that? I wonder if he'll let me help him. Damn, he thinks it's a fish, it's a lure. That's heartbreaking that is. I tried to approach him on the off chance he would let me approach and try and get the hook out but he he obviously got scared and fled. Pretty sad. Onwards and upwards, eh? There it is. Maybe make another kid happy, eh? Pretty cool. Good to get away from her for though and find my own little oasis, eh? things here man oh, yeah there's a sewage plant or something there I can see it freaking smells yeah I wanna get out of her for alright looks like we're getting away finally from Hereford Back into some more wild feeling places. The little island here in the middle. There might be an eddy somewhere and maybe that'll be a good place to stop. We'll see. There is an eddy right there. Uh, do I want it? No. I don't I'm gonna carry on. Quite a good landing spot in front of us. It's 1 pm. Good time to make a coffee. Slip into that eddy there in front. From the canoe it looked like there was a, a shore and I could only see the edge but this is literally just like I don't know what this is. Gather a little bit of wood for a quick fire, a quick boil of water so we replenish our water because I'm out, of course coffee and a little bit of food. Let's do it. Let it cool there, so I can drink it. Oh, yes, this coffee has been long overdue. First coffee of the day is almost 2 p.m. First and only, I'll clarify. Otherwise, I won't really sleep. Almost avocado toast. Yum, yum. That's about 700 meals. Yeah, it should be enough till camp tonight. All right, guys, it's 2.10. We got at least three hours of paddling left today. So let's get going. Goodbye, weird concrete bank. Well, I'm heading west at the moment, straight into the wind, but luckily the wind's not that strong. And the flow right now is kind of more than compensating for the wind, so still making decent progress. You want it? Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> All right, it's yours. You're welcome. Another football, another happy kid. This is awesome. 
Lovely, take me, take me with you, Rapids. Give me some power. Lovely, right into the main floor. Give me more Rapids. More Rapids, please. Feels good to be away from Hereford. The river is getting more and more beautiful as we go now. Yes, enjoying the moment right now, very much so. It's alright. Sorry to scare you. Oh my goodness, the conditions right now. Wow. Beautiful, guys. Very enjoyable moment. Tell you what, guys, the wildlife here is uh, pretty outstanding despite human intervention you know just shows how resilient nature can be I only imagine how incredible it would be in the past untouched 500 year old trees and stuff well we found the third football believe it or not and we have to get it guys <laughs> it's up in it's up in that bush there you see it Oops, rough landing all right it's going in there oh shoot it went in the water That helpful westerly breeze is playing against us at the moment. Hey, can't complain. It's been extremely helpful most of the way. Done really good paddling, quite good progress now, and nice feeling of uh, accomplishment and satisfaction. Right in that main floor. It's like you jump on a conveyor belt, you know, when you're walking in the airport and then you jump on the conveyor belt. That's <laughs> just kind of what it feels like. Yes, happy fisherman there. <laughs> awesome, dude. Beautiful barrel, man. See you, mate. Nice one, man. Oh, beautiful. So enjoyable, you know? So enjoyable, those little riffles. Four o'clock already. Probably about two hours till sundown. Made a lot of progress. No idea how much, but I can tell. Feels like a lot. Next time I need to bring my sunglasses because paddling straight into the sun like this with the glare, it's can't see anything. Sun's dropped and so has the temperature get my jacket on real quick it is quarter to 5 p.m basically we are in a range now that we can take the next campsite whatever comes up that we like we'll take it Still looking for a campsite guys. I'm not settling. I saw a couple and I want better. <laughs> Either that's gonna backfire or it's gonna pay off and we'll find out in the next 30 minutes as the sun goes down completely. I think there's some islands marked on the map within about two kilometers away so those could be interesting. Well the islands were was a bus completely not campable on those islands at all. So we're running out of time, we're running out of light, we're running out of options.
what do you do when you're running out of light and time and you need to find a campsite urgently you fly the drone to try and get an epic shot that's right <laughs> landed the drone on the other side of the bank here on the river so gotta try and rescue it over there it was calculated guys it was calculated 20 minutes of sunlight oh dear left the canoe more there with a nice constrictor knot over there simple and effective drone is safe might be able to make it to Horowithy, which is my extraction point. I might, make, I might be able to make it all the way there, pitch my tarp there, have a little fire and cook some food and then uh, meet Josh tomorrow morning. I know the owner because I've stayed in that campsite before with, with the kids, so I can text him and uh, pay him. What a beautiful place to be, guys. This hour is just amazing. Yeah. yeah, this is it. 6.15, 6.15 p.m. That is pushing it big time. Spoke to Jeff uh, from Tresog campsite here. He's a legend, so uh, all good to camp here. Here's my half pitch tent and of course I didn't bring enough stakes. Why would I? This right here is why I adventure. Being able to do this. Fill up your bottle and being able to drink straight from it. Water is the most taken for granted thing. It's nice to adventure and be reminded of the luxuries. And then when you get them back, you're like, wow, beautiful. you God for the food, for giving us food, protecting us and giving us everything we need. Thank you. Oh yeah, yummy. It was an absolutely awesome day. I think we must have done close to 50 kilometers today. I'll put the actual distances over here somewhere what we did today, what we did yesterday, and the total distance somewhere here. Started in Glassbury, finished in Horwithy. It was an awesome trip. I'm exhausted, man. Looking forward to lying down under the tarp and uh, stretching out my back, maybe reading a little bit and unwinding. With that, thank you for watching as always, guys. Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Morning guys, slept so much better this time than yesterday, so super grateful for that, good sleep. Got really cold actually last night, weirdly. So it dropped below freezing yesterday, even though the, the forecast was um, saying it would drop only to nine degrees as a low. So that is really weird how it missed by nine degrees. Sleeping bag is pretty wet on the surface but it didn't penetrate through to the down or anything it's just on the shell just because there's a ton of condensation here on the tarp and in the air everything's wet you know all those canisters you have at home that have a little bit left but you can't quite take them camping because you know you'll run out that's all of those guys and this was a trip I was supposed to use them up except I ended up using the bush box for pretty much everything
and a little bit of oat milk oh yeah baby cheers guys to a great start to the new day to a better world we can do it <laughs> on that note remember to always pack out your rubbish guys when you're going yeah. peanut butter banana goodness yum big shout out to jeff for letting me camp he won a riverside campsite on the y it's a great place to consider it has fantastic launching and landing opportunities with the ramp and reasonable prices is really well looked after uh, by loving owners so highly recommend you check out Treasure campsite if you want the adventure of your own go check out y valley canoes it's an awesome company they put thousands of paddles in the water every year and josh is the guy for this and wilson's already booked it <laughs> <laughs> going crazy over there in <laughs> but yeah absolute pleasure